I think that baseball player development might be getting stuffed by the survivorship bias. And here's what I mean, okay? Survivorship bias is pervasive in every aspect of our society. Um, the current model for training a player tends to be look at elite performers, break down the details of their mechanics, which frankly no one can agree what's good or bad. They're arguing about a thousand details that we think don't really matter. They're in essence just style. Um, and then look at elite big leaguers, break down the details of their mechanics, and then try to get emerging athletes to perform in that way, to do that. And millions have tried and failed, and I think it's because of the survivorship bias, which suggests that perhaps not all the guys that are performing at the highest level are moving in the most efficient way possible. Maybe a large majority of what we see up there are guys who have survived inefficient movements. They're the only ones who didn't get hurt or perform poorly too soon in their journey. And maybe they're the only ones that survived our training system, which has basically been passed down for 30 years, is do this and become that. And maybe what we're seeing is that the only people that make it through are the ones that survive and advance the highest level. Not all, but many. And so we're, gonna ignore, we're not gonna get burned by this survivorship bias. It's everywhere, man. Some guy drops out of high school at 15 years old, forms his own company, becomes a multimillionaire. The suggestion is everybody should just drop out of high school. Well, millions have tried and failed. The problem is we don't hear from the guy that doesn't make it. He's on the street. We don't hear from the guy that doesn't make it. He has to go get a, a non-baseball job. And so we're never going to allow ourselves to be fooled by this survivorship bias, which means that we're not going to worry about your movement looking anything like any of the guys you see on TV. Look, there are certain rules that it has to meet, certain attractors, certain, certain universal principles that it has to be uh, compliant with. But beyond that, I don't care what it looks like. It's gonna be your style based on your movement, based on your body, based on the best for you. And then we're not gonna worry about what it looks like. We're gonna worry about how it performs. As long as it falls within the boundaries of the eight universal attractors of movement that we talk about every day here at the Army. So don't be fooled by survivorship bias. Don't try to make your movement pattern look like anybody you see on TV. It's gonna be yours, your signature. You're gonna be able to explore within your domain within the boundaries of a few limits, and we're gonna not get burned by the survivorship bias.